It's been a long journey of millions of kilometers, and here we are, arriving at the International Space Station. The automated transfer vehicle has completed five flawless missions relying on a complex industrial choreography. But let's start this trip from the beginning, in Europe, where it all began. Here in Italy, a major part of the most versatile spacecraft ever built by Europe takes shape. ESA and European industry teams have been working together to turn this technological marvel into a frequent flyer. Complex and yet precise, the Automated Transfer Vehicle, or ATV, is a sophisticated and powerful spacecraft. Highly skilled engineers have developed state-of-the-art automatic systems that enable the space freighter to navigate on its own and dock automatically with the space station. Its cargo module can carry almost seven tons of dry and fluid resupply payloads to space. The next leg of the trip for the ATV involves another type of craft. The odd-looking Beluga aircraft is a perfect example of European aerospace cooperation on Earth. The massive hold of the Beluga welcomes the ATV's oversized cargo module, which represents about half the size of the spacecraft, and ships it to Germany. All parts become one in Bremen. Here, every single bit of the spacecraft undergoes testing and the propulsion and avionics modules built on site get ready for assembly. All dry cargo, including food, experiments, tools, spare parts and crew personal items will be stored in these racks. The interior of the cargo carrier is thoroughly checked. The integration of the three main modules requires a lot of teamwork. Even having to deal with short turnarounds, cooperation across European industry opened the door to success for ATV missions. The spacecraft mates with its service module, where the brain and the power of ATV are. The delicate operation also involves the propulsion module, a combo of 32 thrusters are used to raise the station to a higher orbit, push it out of the way of space debris and provide attitude control. The automated transfer vehicle gets packed for another stopover on its journey to space. The Bremen Harbour, known in past centuries as the Key to Europe, is where the automated transfer vehicle boards in two main pieces on a trans-oceanic ship. Sea containers full of test equipment, generators and cooling systems join it on its voyage across the Atlantic Ocean, en route to the new continent, Land of Discovery. A few weeks later, the ATV arrives at Kourou in French Guiana, on the edge of the rainforest. This is where the European spaceport is located. The team starts unloading the boat. The clock is already ticking for launch date. This is the ATV's last stop on Earth before heading to the International Space Station. Kourou is located 500 kilometers north of the equator. 
Using the rotational speed of the planet, faster here than at higher latitudes, the spin of the Earth itself can give some extra velocity to the rockets. After four months of testing and integration, it's time for final assembly and an extensive series of tests. Pressure and leak tests are crucial before and after loading the vehicle with more than six tons of propellant, gas and water. The ATV is now ready to be mounted on top of the Ariane 5 heavy lift launcher. The European rocket is 52 meters tall, equal to a 15-story building, and the ATV is its heaviest passenger. Only the day before flight, the rocket rolls out. The huge boosters move along the rail track en route to the launch pad. Teams on site make sure that the spacecraft and Ariane 5 can recognize each other's commands and that the optical sensors for docking are working flawlessly. The duration, assigned resources and technical complexity of the ATV program have no equal in the history of European spaceflight. The final countdown starts 10 hours before launch and there is no margin for delay. When the control room gives the green light, the rocket ignites its boosters to climb away from the launch pad on a fiery ascent into orbit. trip to space begins. The launcher rockets away from Kourou, speeding through cloud layers and jettisoning its twin solid rocket boosters a little over two minutes into the flight. Then the second stage separates, falling back into the Atlantic Ocean. During the fourth ATV mission, the Steerex set of cameras shot one of the most critical phases, the spacecraft separation from its Ariane rocket. One of the first automated actions the vehicle takes is to deploy its four power generating solar wings and antenna boom. High precision navigation systems guide the spacecraft towards the station. During the last hundreds of meters, the ATV switches to a state-of-the-art rendezvous system using laser beams. Eye-like sensors analyze the light reflected off the station to calculate the distance and direction to the docking port on the Russian Svezda module. The 20-ton ferry maneuvers itself and docks with an accuracy of about 2 centimeters. With the hooks closed and the docking probe retracted, astronauts can enter the pressurized part of the ATV and begin removing the cargo. 
the crew will find a varied mix of maintenance supplies, including science equipment and even family mail. Since its first voyage in 2008, the heavy hauler has been a crucial supply ship to the International Space Station. But it doesn't only serve as a cargo carrier. The engines of the European vessel can raise the station to a higher orbit, counteracting the atmospheric drag that slowly causes it to lose altitude. The ATV remains attached to the station for up to six months. Astronauts gradually remove cargo and fill it with a few tons of liquid and dry waste to clear space on board. After playing a vital role in station logistics, the European spacecraft leaves behind a whole set of flawless missions, vast industrial know-how and a team spirit like no other. With the ATV, the European Space Agency gained access to the space station with its own transportation systems. The end of the journey for the automated transfer vehicle is a controlled but destructive re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The spacecraft breaks apart and burns up harmlessly over an uninhabited area of the southern Pacific Ocean. Mission accomplished.